Hi, welcome to Engage with Digital. I'm Allie. And I'm Marco, and we rock with Prism Media. So this week we're talking about how to get started with social media. We've spoke before about how important social media is and how much it can really help your business if you can use it effectively. So today we're gonna share with you a couple of the main focal points that you should really focus on to get you started with this. So one of the first things you should really educate yourself on and figure out is your your goals and how to measure your successes. So we've talked about really setting your goals and Marco, why is that important? So with anything, any part of your digital marketing strategy, goal setting, it has to be there. You need to be able to measure success and what that looks like. So with respect to your social media strategy, figuring out, okay, what is my goal? What is it that I want to accomplish or achieve? And then ultimately, how do I get there? So for instance, if you're, if you're rolling out your marketing strategy, really to create brand awareness or your social media strategy, I should say to create brand awareness, that should be at the forefront of your posting and your activity. So is it brand awareness? Uh, is it promoting your product or service? Is it establishing you as a subject matter expert for your particular industry? Uh, are you looking to recruit talent, right? Are you looking to bring people into your organization? There's a number of different goals that you want to make sure that you focus in on and then set yourself set yourself a goal. You know, we, we've talked about goal setting before and with digital marketing, how important that is, but consider a SMART goal with a SMART goal. You know, is it specific? Is it measurable, right? And ultimately, how can you track that success? So first thing, most important before you set out with your social media is figure out what is it that you want to accomplish and then we'll talk about how we want to get there. So after you've established your goals and your success criteria, the next thing you wanna do is really figure out where you wanna be, which platform you wanna focus on. With social media, there are so many different platforms out there and it can become a little overwhelming. Um, So it's important to do a little bit of research to figure out where you would best fit and just start with maybe one or two platforms so that you don't sort of burn yourself out and maybe even overwhelm yourself. One important thing to look at when you're picking your platform is the age range. Where is your target demographic? For example, a lot of the the main Facebook audience is those aged 18 to 49. With Instagram, it's those aged 18 to 29. So that plays a huge part in effectively picking the right platform. Yeah, with your digital marketing, we talked in a previous video how important it is to establish really your target audience and, and really identify those personas and who you're trying to connect with. As Ali shared, your choice of social platform is super important. Now, what we encourage majority of clients when they come to us, we encourage them really to start with Facebook, mm-hmm. right? To make sure that you're part of that conversation. But to Ali's point, there's a number of platforms that exist. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, um, I think Google Business, we've talked about that just a moment, and we'll go over that in future videos, but even TikTok, Snapchat, mm-hmm. those are crazy popular platforms right now that different businesses, organizations that they're using to connect with their target audience. So ensuring that your platform, the one that you're committing to is the right platform for you and your business is super important. It's like any other business decision that you make is when you're making your investment, and in this case, the first investment you're making is your time. Where do you want to invest that time to really maximize on that investment? Understanding the right platform for you is of critical importance. So now that you figured out which platform you really want to focus on initially, obviously it's important to create that page and then optimize it. Think of your social media as an extension of your digital storefront. So with that considered, what things do you want to be really the forefront of that page? You know, um, personally, the things that catch my eye or, or the things that I really try to focus on is, you know, the choice of photography, choice of colors. Again, something we talked about in a couple different videos is, is everything cohesive? Does everything work together? Does it look professional and clean? Does it really share what your brand is and what you do in a cl- clean and professional way? Yeah, Ali, you mentioned your social profile very much is an extension of your website, right? It's an extension of that digital storefront, right? So as Ali shared, you know, choice of choice of photography, choice of pictures of colors, your profile picture, does it resonate with your audience? Does it speak clearly to your brand? 
We've worked with a number of businesses that, you know, don't don't often consider that on something like Facebook, you know, or even LinkedIn for that matter, Twitter as well. Um, there's an actual area there of your social platform that I like to call your real estate, right? Are you taking advantage of that real estate? And ultimately, that's the first impression that your visitor is going to get. So are you a business that's committed time and resources to making sure that that real estate just pops? Mm -hmm. It absolutely represents your brand. Or is it something that maybe it's a little vague? Is it just a photo? Um, is it something where LinkedIn, for instance, if you look at your LinkedIn profile, either personal or business, is it just the generic standard LinkedIn sort of dotted design that they have, this sort of ge geometric design that they have? Or again, are you looking for ways to maximize that real estate? Some of the things that we encourage our clients to do right off the bat is taking advantage of that real estate. So incorporating their brand, their logo, maybe some easy contact information. So if no one else scrolls through that particular social account, they can at the very least get access to your phone number, maybe your website. And that's a very clear and easy way to get in contact with you. Outside of what is your pictures and your photos, also giving thought to really the descriptions of your business. So have you articulated clearly who you are, what you do and why you do it? There's a reason we call this an extension of your website or your digital store or your digital anchor, right? And that's really that particular platform, whether you choose a Facebook, a LinkedIn, a Twitter, an Instagram, it needs to be consistent with branding. It needs to clearly articulate who you are, what you do and why you do it. And most importantly, it has to provide some easy way for someone to get in contact with you should they want to do business with you. So setting up your profile and really optimizing what that looks like is critical. So Marco mentioned, if you build it and keep building it, they will come. With that, it's really important that you make sure you're posting consistently. When you just start with your page, it can be really overwhelming, like we mentioned, and it can be super easy to type up some content and then decide that it's not good enough or it's not professional enough, and you just decide not to post. Starting out, it's important to just put yourself out there, and as long as you're telling your story and providing value, then there's really no wrong thing that can happen with it. Eventually, you will get better at it and things will start looking better and you'll be able to trial and error different content and figure out what works for your audience. Yeah, what I like to say is that you know, if, if consistency is king, then content is queen, right? So it is about consistent content. With respect to your strategy, one of the things we do here with Prison Media is um, we actually create, and, and Ali leads the efforts here with Prison Media, we fully create a strategically based 30-day calendar that we put in front of clients where we prepare posts well in advance of actually them going live on a Facebook, on a LinkedIn, on a Twitter, on an Instagram, regardless of social platform. We prepare a series of posts that at the end of the day, we trust with using a scheduling tool, we trust that those posts will go out there and they help us meet our objectives. One of the other things to consider is with your posting is maintaining some relevancy to current events topical things that happen. So for instance, if there's a national uh, disaster or a, a worldwide disaster for that matter, or, or if it's something maybe a little more lighthearted, there's the Oscars that mm -hmm. was recently on TV, right? Celebrating those types of things and, and showing in some way that you are sharing relevant insights into what's topical and what's relevant. So one of the other things that we look forward to uh, with respect to working with our clients is making sure that we're out there actually daily and, and sharing some content. So uh, at the very, very least, scheduling posts and paying attention to uh, what it is that you want to communicate and then consistently providing that content, consistently providing those posts. Because th there's really nothing worse, I think, than setting up a social media profile and then allowing it to go dormant and at the end of the day, it's a reflection on you and your business. So you control the narrative here. You control the strategy. It's important to ensure that you're consistently posting value-based content. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we talked about is establishing your goals and success criteria. 
So how can you measure that and monitor that? Some of the things we do here is we pull up the different analytics for the different social media platforms that we post on for our clients. And we look at things specifically like, you know, page likes, different engagements, likes, shares, comments, things like that. And we're able to track those and go back to the posts that really push the most engagement to really put that in the back of our minds and understand how our audiences work. Yeah, as, as Ali shared, she regularly goes through and really monitors um, and looks at analytics on, on, on what posts and what type of content, what type of messaging is really resonating with an audience. Um, and you can do that very, very easily by looking at the number of likes, the number of engagements, the number of shares. Um, and then from that, you can tailor and really continue to, to tweak and work on your social media strategy. At the end of the day, just like your website is a living, breathing entity, so should your social media platform be. Always looking for ways to improve on what it is that you're sharing based off of how your content resonates with their audience. There are other ways to monitor your success as well. You know, there are different tactics where you might want to include a special promo code with one particular post, where if that particular visitor sees that post and mentions the promo code, in some way they get some sort of benefit with working with you your business. Another way would be to dedicate a specific URL or domain to where one post would go towards, um, you know, a specific or a custom URL, and you can track the number of, of different times where visitors access that URL from a specific post. Uh, at the end of the day, however, regardless of, of your choice in measuring success, the only way that you can identify whether or not your strategy is working is really in monitoring how how your content is resonating with your clients or prospects. It's super important that you're measuring your success. At the end of the day, you want to see that you're getting a return on the investment you're making, whether that's time or financial resources. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Engage with Digital. As always, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you found this video helpful, share it with your friends and colleagues. And just like with any of our episodes that we produce and share with Engage with Digital, all of the notes that we've mentioned, whether that's our Engage with Digital Facebook group, which we encourage you to join if you haven't already done so, our contact information, social media profiles, all of those are linked below. And if you did find value in this, like Ali said, please share it with friends and colleagues. We're looking forward to uh, continuing to share this content with you weekly. And of course, helping you share your story, build your brand, and most importantly, create your future. Thanks for choosing Prism.